everyone. How's everybody doing? Um, today I want to make a Hobby Lobby haul and a Joann's at an antique store haul. So at Hobby Lobby, I got these cute little shakers, little hearts, and they have like little eyelashes and little smiles. It's so cute. And I kind of figured I could put these on my paper clip and I could put these on my traveler's notebooks. Or I even just in journals too, you know. Kind of wanted to try that. <laughs> Mix it together. <laughs> so yeah, I bought this and then I ended up getting um, this. And basically it's supposed to make these lace doilies I guess lace trim sorry but it's out of paper it's not lace and so that really inspired me just looking at it so and Hobby Lobby did have a sale so I go on sale days and stuff like that so and basically if nobody knows what this for <laughs> It's for the Sizzix, and of course, I have one of the first ones, probably. It's very old. Um, I've seen people with much larger ones, bigger ones, I wish. I can't wait. Hopefully, someday I get one. They are kind of pricey right now, so, yeah. But here it is, so basically, you would run this strip right through. Here, these metal bars, these little metal things. You put them through here, and then you just wheel it through with the plates. I have the plates put away. But yeah, that's what this is for. And so hope to make a couple of them and put them in my journals or in my traveler's notebooks. So I'm really excited for that. Um, these over there. And then um, I did buy some of these. Um, these are for the Happy Planner, oops, and what I'm going to do is, you know, not place them on the Happy Planner because I do have one, but I don't use it. I haven't used it in like years. I think I was in it for a little while. <laughs> I'm just going to move it up. Oh, they are so cute. These are, these are metal. They, yeah, they sell them for metal. And so, so basically, I'm going to put them on my happy planner. But I'm more of it's going to be more of like in between the one that you saw that was a micro happy planner that I had. I'm going to make it a little bit more bigger and then I'm going to add these on there so you can hold all my planner stickers so I can go through there and sift through there. And so I bought this confetti, which is really pretty. And I'm going to sprinkle some of this inside some lamination sheets, then cut them out and then I'll make pockets and put these on. And I did buy <laughs> keep hitting that. Um, this thing. So that's what these go to. This is like the puncher to it. Let me see. I've never used this. It's brand new. I just bought it at Hobby Lobby. So, but just given. Oh wow, we good. <laughs> and so these would. These are what fits on there. Well, these would be like the ring bound binders. That's like what it is. A ring binder. So, really exciting. I can't wait to see how it's going to come out. So, I'm going to put these over here. So, that's what I bought at Hobby Lobby. Then I went to Joann's and I'm feeling better. I think the last video I wasn't feeling so well. Um, but I feel so much better now. Um, I think it was a lymph, no allergy type thing. <laughs> but, um, 
So I go shopping. <laughs> I'm feeling better. Um, so I bought this at Joann's, and it was in a bit of a pricey side, like way too much. I would eyeball it. I would see it. I'd wish. I'd touch it, and then I had to put it back. Um, but they had again a sale. I went on a day. There was sales because I really don't know when their sales are. I'm sure you can look them up or you know, but. I immediately went back there and my gosh, I saw it for sale. Pricey size, when I see $39, that's a lot. <laughs> but when you're paying $14, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> so I just so grateful, so happy to bring this home finally. Um, so basically, it's you put your stuff in there. It's like a little suitcase type opening here. And I can put all my beads. It's really roomy. And I love how it's see through. I have a lot of junk jewelry I like taking apart and keeping the old beads um, for my journals and stuff like that that I make. Upcoming videos I'll be showing you my journals and, um, and how I place the beads on them but you know this is basically and then here's the other side. So if you guys go to Joann's <laughs> you can spend you know the high amount to me it is the high amount or you can wait like how I did on um, their sales and stuff. I don't know if they had other colors because when I went there I've always seen this color which is my favorite color. I'm always into the cyan and um, mint colors and stuff or like aqua right? Not too aqua. More like this. Mint, this color and mint. Um, and then I went to the antique store and I bought this little guy and I thought he was so cute. My daughter hasn't seen it. Oh, she's probably going to try grabbing it and taking it from me. I buy cute little things for me and there she goes. <laughs> she owns them. <laughs> but I'm hoping I named him Kipper. It's a little kitty. I found this at the antique store. Um, I don't know if it's old or not, but I thought it was so cute. So, yeah. So I'm going to put him in here for now. They can go rolling around everywhere. This one. <laughs> How cute how he looks in here. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to put this over here. So, what I did get, um, oh, bells. I found, I, I'm assuming these are like Christmas bells, but you know, I'm attracted to not just any type of bells. These bells have, um, this is my favorite, they have these stars on it, on the sides of it, you know, and they're really decorative. Um, she uses this all year long, you know, but I just love the way they look, and they look so good when they're on, you know, journals or stuff, but I don't know if these are too big, but I'm sure I can always find something to use them for, so... These are my bells. I do want to hang them from my journal. I, I like them. They're so cute. So yeah. That. And. Um, let me put my seat over here. And when I was there. I. Got. Some material. So the first one I found was this. Um. I mean, I could make my journals out of this. I don't know if it's antique, but, you know, <laughs> not that much. I mean, the person looks like they paid like $4.99 and I only paid like 10 bucks for all of this. I mean, if I was at Joanne's buying this type of uh, material, I call it like king and queen type material or curtain material. So it's like a different type of material. I don't know the name of it, um, but look at how many I got. And this was at the antique store and it's so beautiful i mean what i can do with these you know anything i can do my mind can just go wild on this <laughs> and it's beautiful and i love the colors so that's what and they had it like tied with this cute little rope of that rope so i got that and then i got this and found a quilt and I kind of like 
open it up. It's not that big. And it's really not that big. That's the inside of it. And I was going to use it to cover my sewing machine, but this is so beautiful. Um, there's a lot I could do. A lot of, I could do with this. Um, maybe give it to my daughter. Yes, <laughs> she might, but it seems small. It doesn't seem like something you can throw and keep yourself warm. But I really wanted to transfer it into us onto my slime machine. So basically, so on the sides here, you know, bring it up through here and bring it through here up like this and do the same thing on the other side. Sew it up. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but basically. And then I could just put this right over my sewing machine. So that's what I wanted to do. Sew it up in, you know, because of the thickness and to protect it from dust. And I don't have that on my sewing machine. It came with this, uh, you know, plastic that's just torn apart. It's a thin plastic. It's for the Singer sewing machine from Joann's. You would think they would give us something better to, you know, cover it. Or sometimes they have, like, you know, the the plastic that covers over it, literally. So that's why I bought this. Um, it's just cute, I love it. Love the patterns and stuff. Get this folded up. <laughs> While hitting this poor light here that I have here. There we go. And then I got this one. And this one is in the much older state of look. <laughs> um, but I loved it. You know, I'm just really into the quilt type look. And, you know, I could just place this on anything uh, or put some stuff on top of it or make a journal out of it, literally. Literally fold it in half and boom, you have a cute little country flower journal. <laughs> but I have it, it's there. Um, there's a couple other ideas what I want to do with it, but I can't wait. I um, wanted to put it in one of my traveler notebooks, like on the inside with pockets and stuff. So I might just do that, but it's just wonderful to have, have it in my stash, you know, some of the stash I hoarded and I won't even touch it, just look at it. I have this in my material, you know, <laughs> and I found this again. It's like that thick, material and it's long i mean this i think this is something they would put on a table but the patterns are on it it's just so beautiful again for journaling make journal books out of this you know and have the option to what i want to choose in material and what i want to use to make a journal um so yeah that's this one and I bumped into this beautiful lace and of course it's like maybe went onto somebody's table or cario or something but I love it it's like light pink with some flowers embroidered type flowers these are very beautiful and we have so many things I can do with this. Or oh, hoard it. <laughs> and just look at it. Touch it. <laughs> and I found this. Uh, more embroidery. Embroidery. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not saying it right. Oh, my little kitty cat hairs. Okay. And look how pretty that is. Let's see if I can get that on camera there. That is so beautiful. And it has a little, a little flower. It's so beautiful, and it has the same thing on the other side, on both sides. So, but I just, when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So, I don't know if somebody made this, or maybe machine made, or, but it is very beautiful. Um, I did find some doilies now i feel that these are antique just by the looks of them i know when i see things that are you know does have age and i could tell by looking at the lace 
It's almost like its own natural tea dye, but like an off-white or, you know. But, again, for journals, or I could just put my little teapots on there that I collect in my carryo and just place them on there. But it came with three of them, and I only paid like four bucks for all this. So, yeah, I just love this. It's so beautiful. I'm really lucky to have find that. <laughs> I'm sure some lady will be like, oh. <laughs> so I think they just like place new stuff there. Because every time I go to that antique store, it's a new one. And I never see the same thing. Never do. And I see a lot of people like over there. Um, while I was there, I found a beautiful tin. And on there, it has like a horse. And it has a beautiful scenery. I don't know if you guys can see that. And inside of it, um, there's a goodies that I bought from the actual place. <laughs> so, um, the first thing I found there was this beautiful lace doily. So it definitely looks like somebody made this. My mom used to do this. And um, so I've always had an eye for these. Reminds me of her. She would make these, make so many of them, different types. Again, whoever makes, whoever does this, I mean, is truly a God-given gift. I mean, it amazes me, you know, all just the detail on these doilies. So was, I picked this one. It was very beautiful. They had many, but this one, I just love the way the patterns were and stuff like that. And when I was there, they were having still the Valentine type antique cards and stuff. So I don't know if I think these might be from guessing the 40s. I mean, the reason why I could tell, because it's very vintagey in the back. So, I mean, you're I'm thinking definitely the 40s. I don't know 50s, but, you know, if, if you guys, anybody that watches me, is, is this a blast from the past? <laughs> it's so beautiful. And again, I've always loved the art back then. Like, this is so just different from now, and I love it. Gives me a warm, cozy feeling. <laughs> so I was really lucky to find these too. Um, I found these cards there. These old playing cards for children, probably. Maybe like a goldfish or something. But they had I put these in my journals. The fox. Very vintage. Vintage cards. And a little chicky. A squirrel. Little puppy, silly ghost, pretty kitty, <laughs> funny bunny, Aww. and turtle. I know they're vintage because I looked them online, and they're they're very hard to find. You know, if you do, they have them everywhere. But it's hard to find for sale. Or when I was looking, for, I think I was looking for a certain one, this one. So I knew that you know these are vintage. So can imagine, maybe my mom might remember <laughs> playing with these cards. Um, so I found something. Um, I'm guessing this might be maybe, you know, close to 60 years ago, <laughs> just by the color, and you know. It wasn't much, but it, I just love the vine. It kind of reminded me of like a keyhole or something. But I could do something definitely with that. I don't think this is vintage, but it was there. And I love chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. And I'm a girl that grew up around chickens. And I'm a farm girl at heart. So I didn't grow up on a farm, but I should have been in a farm. I should have. <laughs> um, but I was very lucky to have chickens. <laughs> And so, I thought this was so adorable. I loved it. I could, 
I kind of like want to put this in front of a journal. <laughs> I love that heart. So I don't know if it's vintage though. Um, again, another cute little Valentine card. It's adorable. <laughs> I love the paper. Love it. And I found this because I, I thought it was funny. But <laughs> it's the um, it's the Home and Life Insurance Company of America. And I like it has like the little, the family. Yeah. <laughs> like the old drawings and stuff. So, and it's just this, you know. So I kind of wanted to put it, slide it in my journal. Something from the past. <laughs> I like how the mom is dressed, so conservative. You know, that's how they dressed back then. Very beautiful. And we found this, a little birthday card. It has, this, oops, a little vintage stamp. And so yeah, and a, a color again, it's like a tea dyed. Definitely. It says right here, oh my gosh, it actually says, I don't know if you could see that, but it says made in Germany. So yeah, this is wonderful. And I found this one. Now, a lot of times when I get pictures that are like this, like, it tells a story. And I, I love, like, this reminds me of like a cottage type look or... I just love the pictures. They just tell so much, you know, with her walking and the womanly thing and how it was back then, you know, harder. It's just, I love the way it just looks. But I love the cottage houses back there. And again, this is vintage. And I don't tear these up in any way. I just place them in my journals and then sometimes make a pretend story, you know, the journal belonged to her. <laughs> She's the one that was writing that journal. <laughs> so yeah, I just love putting them in journals. Um, colorful ones I found. Little bird with flowers. This is one of my favorite ones. That is so pretty. Wow, look at that stamp. I don't know what president that is. Very beautiful. I love all that writing. That's um, calligraphy. Ink. That's neat. It's upside down. And... <laughs> this one has like a basket with flowers. Oh, I love the flowers. Oh, that's so me right there. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> to wish you a happy day. <laughs> and of course, vintage, vintage writing in the back. And I found this. Um, the lady didn't charge me for it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's cool, but it comes with these two openings here. I wonder if we can put something in there. I don't know. Maybe I can figure out something on it. So that was that. And I found, literally digging through their stuff, this thing. And it's, you open it up. And it has a picture of a Victorian lady and her hair and the Victorian picture. So definitely vintage looking at it with the paper. Vintage. So this reminds me of the Titanic when uh, Mowgli had put Rose's picture in his um, vault lock. It was a, uh, what's called the vaults. <laughs> 
And um, that's what it reminded me of. So, like, you know, the husband will open it up and look at it. Oh, it's my wife. It's so pretty. And then just put it away professionally. <laughs> but that's what it reminded me of. And look at that. That is neat. That is so neat. That is so cute. So that was it. And I found some of these. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Put them in my journals. Maybe put like some lace or something on the inside of it. Tea dye it around. Or just leave it like this. Staple it. You know, and put it at this top. But, you know, I love the way it, what it said at the top here. So it's like a Fort Sill Museum Okla. So, you know, it's like a museum. Stuff of museum stuff. And I look and I see it. Oh, courage. That's neat. See that. Hopefully it comes up on camera, but you can barely see it. But I thought that was cool to have, and maybe I could figure out something to do with that. And um, I found this. Um, it's recipes, but of course, I probably won't use it. I'm going to use probably place these. In journals and stuff or my journals I mean this is so cool and probably use these plot this clear to put it into journals and then you can write on the back and write right here write your own recipes you know and just so many ideas that I can come up with you know or maybe I'll just use it <laughs> but I do have my own uh, bigger one you know so I just, it's pretty cool to have. It's just adorable. I love it. I think it was a good find. So, and then, um, I found this here. Another doily. Very tiny, very little. And I found some hankies there. Little hanky shifts. And what I do is when I have these little handkerchiefs, of course, I iron it, give them a good cleaning, get them wet. And I only use like this much, and then I put them in journals, and, you know, when you open up the pages in the book, you know, you're going to find this in there. I could just do so much. And I got another one. I'll put the blue bow here. With the blue and the pink. So, and these are hankies. They look very, very brand new, but you could tell, again, by material, a little vintage type look, you know, so. And I went and got a jackpot. I call it jackpot. So this, when I looked at these, I thought, oh, she had a little pin attached to these. And on there said $5. And I was like, oh, she's selling one of the doilies for five dollars makes sense you know what i'm gonna get one and so um but i wasn't sure so i took it to the front and i told her about it and she says oh honey there's she said all that is for five dollars see and she showed me on the tag five dollars and then it's she it had the number of how many and i'm like oh my gosh and she goes that is a good find <laughs> so i was really excited i was like wow so look at all these doilies that I can literally tea dye. These are all going tea dyed, literally. So, oh wow, look at this. Un oh my gosh. I mean, this. Yeah. <laughs> I am so grateful to find this. So, these are all my doilies. And they'll fit in my journals. And oh, it's just so perfect. And I don't know if they're homemade. They didn't look homemade you know definitely maybe machine made i'm not sure but you know who knows how old they are they don't look too old you know they have a little white color so but i guess i'm thinking that you know you put your little ceramics and stuff like that on there something cute you know put this in your carry i do have a huge large carry -o. I collect precious moments, all kinds of stuff. So you, you put your stuff on there. Coffee cups, tea cups. So that's that. And then, let's see. 
I found pictures. And I did go through the picture stuff. And these pictures meant a lot to me. When I, I mean, I just don't grab any pictures because I make journals and I like to pretend, you know. Or just, I love this one. So it's a little girl. And uh, she's holding her kitty cat and her dog. And look at that little white house in the background. Like, that's how it was back then. And the car, look at the antique car. Like, it's just so beautiful. Like, it's, I don't know where this is, somewhere in Virginia, who knows? <laughs> but I loved it. It just really was really talking to me with that with the child, little girl with the animals. That's me. That's completely me. That girl, little girl right there is me. <laughs> and this one reminds me of my grandpa. And you can see how old. Look at that house in the back. Very small. And chickens. See those chickens right there in the chicken yard? And then his garden. Look at that. Like he has little plants growing right in here. So I love that. I, just, I mean, it's just very beautiful. I found some antique postcards. Again, it's cottage. Beautiful cottage here. And some of these postcards can go up to 100 years old. You know, and if you really take a good luck, it'll sometimes say, you know, the year or whatever. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it might be 100 years old. So that's the cottage. And again, another one that talked to me. And... That little girl looks like me. My mom was watching this video like, that looks like you. So that was one because she has a little pinched eyes. He reminds me of my grandpa, the lady. Look at her. She looks like a tough mom, a grandma, you know, lots of love. She's wise, <laughs> just looking at her. And if she made an apple pie, you would ask for seconds because it's so good. <laughs> That's a woman right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, this is real. I mean, I, I don't, these people are not around anymore, but it's wonderful to see this picture. I will cherish it and put it in my journals. And this one stood out to me a lot. And it looks like they had a really bad harvest. You know, make ends do. She's praying. Hopefully that, you know, maybe the harvest will be better. But this meant a lot to me, watching it. It's almost like a movie. <laughs> cowboy movie. I love the way she's dressed. I love that. Love it. So like, it's a story within a picture. You know, you can almost just see them and how they're feeling. Like they hardly got any food this time. Aww. <laughs> so that is those. And then I bought these. And uh, open them up. So, there we go. It's just, uh, they look like napkins for a table. But I love the color. I love the mint type color with the flowers. Came with two. I didn't even know that. I thought it was just one. So, mmm, smells good. Smells like the antique store. <laughs> and I got more hankies. And more. And again, I'll be putting these in my journals. You know, after this part right here. Or I see people literally just put them in like this. I think Johanna does it. She just puts the whole thing in and you're just flipping through it. <laughs> oh, I might do that too. But I usually just staple them at the top or put it at the top. And here's another beautiful hanky. And I don't know. I might do so much more with this one. It's my favorite. Love it. You're pretty much done. Another one of these. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, I made these in the last uh, video. So I am putting one of these up for video. I'm um, sorry, up for <laughs> Etsy. And this is the one that's going to be going up for sale. I did make another one for myself. So I'm pretty sure you guys remember these. Um, 
part two is the best. Because that's when I put all the Hermia and all that stuff in there. All the goodies in there. <laughs> so I did make two. One for me. And one for you. If you decide to buy. It'll be in my Etsy store. Um, I'll be putting it up, placing it today, so definitely tomorrow will be up, or but right after this video when I upload it, I'll definitely put it on in there. And so if you guys are interested, and this is the one that's going to be in the Etsy store, and this one's mine. So, I guess I can take out some of the stuff. Okay. Uh, almost, almost the same. You know, and of course a little pocket. Make things a little different. Same card. Put a little kitty on this one. And then I made another one of these from Daphne's Diary magazine. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And um, I want to do more crafts. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>